My name is Adam Bradley and when I first started building a smart home, I had a hard time deciding between a HomeKit TV and an Apple TV to do all of my streaming. So today we're going to compare the HomeKit TV to the Apple TV. We'll do a quick overview of each, compare controlling playback and automations, the benefit of each option, and at the end I'll show you why I actually use both of them in my smart home. Now let's briefly talk about what a HomeKit TV is. A HomeKit TV is just a regular smart TV with its own software, and it typically works with all three smart home assistants. And these TVs vary by price range and sizes. So what is an Apple TV? It is Apple's own streaming box with their own software, and you just get access to all of your favorite streaming apps, shows, games, and more. And the Apple TV ran Ranges anywhere from 150 bucks to 200 bucks. So now that you know what each device is, how do you control the playback? There are three ways that you can control playback for a HomeKit TV and an Apple TV. The first way is using the included remote. Now a HomeKit TV has your typical remote buttons and an Apple TV has a more minimal design with only a few buttons. Now some HomeKit TVs like the one that I have, but not all brands, are really slow. It will take a few seconds to register a click or command once I push a button on the remote and the user interface at least on my Vizio TV is very clunky and difficult to navigate and not nearly as intuitive to use as the Apple TV the Apple TV is very responsive and super simple to use like all Apple products are and the interface is nice and clean now the second way that you can control playback is through control center on your iPhone iPad or Apple watch you can control and navigate the Apple TV and the HomeKit TV but again my HomeKit TV is just a little bit slower. Here's a pro tip, you can actually use the volume buttons on the side of your iPhone to control the volume, and this is pretty nice. You can also control playback from the now playing section in Control Center as well as to see what's playing everywhere else. With an Apple TV, volume and playback controls stay right on the lock screen for easier control whenever you're watching a show or a movie. But a HomeKit TV cannot do this. In the Home app, both allow you to play and pause playback and see what's playing. But a HomeKit TV takes this to the next level because it allows you to switch inputs. So if you have multiple devices connected to your TV, then you can easily switch the inputs on your TV straight from the Home app. And you can rename most inputs to whatever the device is or whatever you would like it to be called. You can also use Siri to turn on or off your HomeKit TV and Apple TV. And with the HomeKit TV, you can't use Siri to change inputs via voice. You can tell Siri to play or pause a show that's currently playing, but this does not work with a HomeKit TV. Next up is automations, and this is where I feel like an Apple TV really outshines a HomeKit TV with all the fancy cool automations that you can do. So in the Home app with an Apple TV, you can only automate playing or pausing. With a HomeKit TV, you can automate power and switch which input to display. And with Siri shortcuts, this is where the Apple TV has a whole lot more features. You can automatically open a specific app so you can get to your content faster. And you can create a shortcut that will automatically bring up the remote on your iPhone so you can navigate as needed. I recently made a video on six Siri shortcut ideas that you can do with your Apple TV and that will be linked in the description below if you want to check those out. All right, now let's talk about why a HomeKit TV might be better for your home than an Apple TV. Everything is built right into one package. You don't have to buy any additional items. You can control the input straight from the Home app, which is so convenient and something that you cannot do with an Apple TV. And you still do get the AirPlay and screen mirroring functionality like you do with an Apple TV. And with the HomeKit TV, you still get the Apple TV app. So you have access to all your TV shows and movies you've previously purchased. The downsides to having a HomeKit TV is that it's still a TV. So TV speakers aren't usually that good. And you don't get as many new features or software updates like you would from Apple since it is up to the manufacturer of the TV to push out the updates and not Apple. And just as an FYI, an Apple TV remote does not work with the HomeKit TV. Now a HomeKit TV is great and there are some great use cases for it, but let's talk about why an Apple TV could be better for your smart home. The Apple TV is packed with a ton of features, and I don't have time to address all of them in this video, so I'm just going to list off some of the best features. It can be your HomeKit hub, which is needed for remote control of your devices. The new Apple TV includes Thread, so Thread compatible devices can respond quicker. You can connect your AirPods for private listening, and you can control the volume with the remote. If you have a HomePod or HomePod 
Quad Mini, then you compare it to the Apple TV for much better sound. With the new Apple TV, it has support for better video quality with a compatible TV. And you can view your cameras and control your other HomeKit devices and scenes from the remote. Plus, you can be notified whenever somebody rings your doorbell. You can play games with Apple Arcade, and you can even pair a controller if you want to be the ultimate gamer. And you also do get software updates much more frequently than you would with a HomeKit TV. Now, I personally use a HomeKit TV and an Apple TV in my smart home, and I would actually recommend it, and here's why. I like the ability to create automations that will turn on my TV, switch to the Apple TV input, and open up an app so I can go ahead and start watching the show. And I love my Apple TV because I get control straight on the lock screen, so it's very easy to, to control and navigate. What are your thoughts? Do you like a HomeKit TV better or an Apple TV better, or do you use both? Let me know down in the description below, and I'll see y'all in the next one.